What's going on guys? I've got kind of an interesting kind of experiment sort of demonstration video for you guys here today. So some of you may have actually subscribed to this channel after I made some videos showing the gaming performance on the Surface Pro 7 running the Core i3 4 gigs of RAM, the low end cheap model of the Surface Pro 7. I also later on got my hands on a i5 version of the Surface Pro 7 with the intention of making some similar videos comparing the gaming performance. Well, of course, I've talked in other videos how that, that Surface Pro 7, the touchscreen died on me. I wound up having to warranty the thing out, get the new one in. I actually thought that there was something wrong with that Surface because from the time I got it, I loaded up some games, tried to play some things on it, and I was shocked to find out that in a lot of games, the performance was actually worse on the i5 than it was on the i3. Couldn't wrap my head around why that was. Well, since I've gotten this one back in, I've decided to try this again and I, it is fully updated now so that whatever the newest driver is there have been firmware updates and so forth it is fully updated and I've got some interesting things here to actually show you in terms of, of what the performance is actually like and what simple thing you can do to actually improve the performance on this i5 and I suspect on the i7 as well. So what we have here is Apex Legends and we are in the training stage of Apex Legends. What I'm going to show you here is sort of what the performance is as it is, what happens when you unplug the power cable which takes it from best performance down to balanced, and then what the thermals are indicating. So let's run down to the open area. And so right now just standing here looking around we are getting about 37, okay we're looking at 3940 frames per second. Okay so let's find out here what kind of thermals we are actually looking at here. So if I aim at the top corner here we're at 160 degrees, 107, 107 and a half. We are running quite, quite warm uh, up here at this top corner. Okay, what happens if you unplug the power cable? So now you're going to drop down to just using uh, the balanced uh, power uh, profile. Well, now we're down to 20, 22 FPS. Obviously, you're going to want this thing plugged in using the best performance slider. Let's plug it back in, and we are back up to now 45, 46 FPS. And did that make any difference to the thermals? Let's find out if unplugging it did anything very briefly to the thermals. No, it does not look like, does not look like it had much of an effect. We are still sitting at 106.7, 107 degrees. Okay, why do I keep talking about the thermals? Behind this thing is a Vornado fan, which I actually got this idea from a YouTuber, uh, Joshua14, which has a ton of really good Surface Pro 7 gaming style content, which you, you should definitely check out if you're interested in things like this. Watch what happens when I turn this on. So you're going to hear a little bit of background noise, but just deal with it because it's, it's worth doing. And we're going to watch these thermals. We're going to watch these temperatures up here while we watch the frame rate on this game. I need to keep moving from time to time to make sure that it doesn't disconnect me. Now let's just give it a minute here to start reducing the temperatures up top. Remember, we were sitting in the 40 to 45 FPS range with the fan turned off, with the temperatures at their peak. So let's give it a minute and see what happens to the temperatures as this fan runs. Okay, so we're down to about 104 degrees, and we have just cracked 50 FPS. 49 50. So we've already started to see the temperature come down and the FPS go up. We're now down to, that shows 103, 102. I'm unable to find 107 anymore. We are hovering between 49, 48, 50 FPS. So I do want to point out that I am running on pretty much the lowest possible settings for this thing while being in native resolution. But as the temperatures continue to fall, we are now cracking 51, 52 FPS. And if I were to turn that fan off, guess what would happen? The temperature would go up, the FPS would drop pretty quickly. Really weird stuff there. What I suspect has happened is fairly obvious. The i5 is just getting too hot. There's no fan in the Surface Pro 7. And when this thing gets warm, it thermally throttles. Your performance takes a very noticeable hit. This was less obvious on the i3 because it just created less heat, generated far less heat. So if you want a game on your Surface Pro 7 with the i5 or the i7, I would suggest, you know, look, get some kind of a, you know, they make a lot of laptop fans, little things like that to maybe keep it cool. You can see the region up top where the heat seems to be generating and try and keep the thing cool and it's going to make a noticeable difference in terms of performance. Now it's important for me to mention that after updates, after, you know, I guess there's been firmware updates and driver updates and so forth, 
the i5 is now actually running a bit better than my i3 did in terms of at least Apex Legends. I haven't done a ton of tests in games, but it is performing quite a bit better once it was fully updated. But adding that fan added another you know, additional five, six, seven FPS that were not available otherwise. So guys, that's all the info I've got on this video. Thanks to Joshua14 for inspiration on this one. Definitely check out his YouTube channel if you want to know what games run on these things. He's probably got a video of it already made, so no need for me to rehash as far as that goes. Stay tuned for more coverage just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends. If you enjoy my content, please consider becoming a Scary If Literal member. You'll get access to a whole bunch of emoticons to use with live streams and a shout out on an upcoming video. Thanks, as always, for your continued support.